Welcome to the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, Episode 2. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving. And if this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell right next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. Now this is episode two of the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, which means down in the description, I've got a link for you on episode one, how this shave began. All right, check it out if you've missed it. Now we're gonna continue on with our gold dollar, and this is the 208. It is just a marvelous razor. It is hollow ground and does what it needs to do, guys. Now, for our soap, I'm using Chella, and this is a wonderful, to my scent, uh, sweet almond, which really is pretty nice, guys. I'm really enjoying it, all right? Now, I will, in the uh, description, have all of the ingredients for that soap, plus the scent profile, along with links for your convenience for everything I've used in this shave as well including that 30 degree strop back there. All right, mm, excuse me. And we're using my Omega 10,098. It is already loaded. Look at that wonderful soap. I mean, good suds, guys. Let's get going. So now, just as a reminder, I do Friday special videos and uh, I try to answer your questions and uh, any kind of ideas that you would like to see in a Friday special. Uh, normally it isn't a shave, it will be shave related. So we do, we hone, we work on uh, the strops, we work on techniques, we work on all kinds of things in the Friday specials. But now, you could participate in that by uh, giving me an idea for a Friday special you're interested in or ask a question that I can make a Friday special out of. And if I can use it for a Friday special video, I will go ahead and give you a shout out and if you have videos uploaded to YouTube, I will put a link in the description to your channel so people can find you as well, all right? So just make sure, you know, keep those comments coming, guys. I'm really enjoying it. I've got to tell you, I have some of the best subscribers on YouTube. You guys are awesome with the comments and uh, ideas and the things you want to see. It's just marvelous. So just keep them coming, guys. Now, this is episode two of the Wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day, which means it's a pass and a half. So we are going to go across the grain on our neck and against the grain on our cheeks, and then right through here, it will be against the grain again. All right? Wow, look at that So, How great is that?
Okay, nice. Get that blade cleaned off. And this is pass two of this shave. Now we're switching hands. Do this other side. Okay, we're going to switch up that handle. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm making a mess out of this blade guys. I'm used to having a towel and I'm using a paper towel. There we go, got that clean. Alright, so now we're going to switch hands. We're going to get this other side, okay. Nice. This is such a comfortable shave. This blade really is nice. It's sharp and it's so comfortable. Okay, gotta hurry. That soap is drying out on me. A little bit. No big deal. Nice. Okay. 
All right, so I probably wouldn't recommend the paper towel. I would go ahead and get a real towel, towel next time, but it's all right. You know, you got to do it. Got to do what you got to do. And I wanted to try this anyway. You know, that's the thing, guys, with uh, wet shaving. Wow, all of those cheeks are brilliant. With wet shaving, you really, it's all about experimenting, trying new things. Um, you can you can actually watch a lot of people do a lot of shaves on uh, YouTube and get ideas about how it would work for you better, okay? And it's just a matter of you trying it and just see if that works for you. You know, not everything is going to work for you. Not everything works for me. Okay, so far, this paper towel thing is not working for me. Um, I just soon have a real towel, and, you know, I'm going to cut it up and tear it up, but that's okay. Uh, because I have asked my wife about it, and she's okay with losing that particular towel, okay? So, I always want to remind you, if you're using a towel with a straight razor, you should go ahead and ask your wife so you don't ruin one of her good towels, all right, guys? Okay, there we go. Now, this is going to be the half pass. This is going to be... Uh, against the grain, pretty much, primarily on our jawline and our neck. Put that where I can see it. That'd probably be handy. Oh, sweet. Oh, man, guys, this is going to be a good shave today. It really is. Very nice. Light touch with that razor. Let the blade do the work. Nice. I'm telling you guys, just marvelous. There we go. Looking good. Mm. 
Okay. Another shave in the books, guys. Very nice. Very nice. It's so good. When you get a good shave, it's amazing. It really is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Okay. We got it. We got it. Now, alum everywhere. Like normal. It's all about taking care of that skin, guys. All right. Then what I do, just dry it off. And for aftershave, we're using Thayer's Lavender. I didn't really have anything that goes with this, but that uh, lavender kind of floral note does very nicely. In that Thayer's Witch Hazel, brilliant. Really is good for the skin, guys. Along with, by the way, Nivea Poche Bomb. Excellent. Excellent stuff. I really highly recommend that you guys take care of your skin, find something that works for you, and just run with it. Oh, yeah. Nice. That's it. All right. Hey, thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see episode one, how this shave began. Click down here on the video, specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.